Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to create this design right here. It is sort of a mesh between a sugar skull and a leprechaun. And so there's a lot of fun and creative ways we can go with this. All we did was take a lot of different elements. I did do some color changing and, and other techniques to make them all look like they go together. So if you wanna learn how you can do a design like this or use any of these techniques, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're going to go ahead and start with our blank backdrop. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I will be designing for black today, so I'm just going to go ahead, click on my blank backdrop, come to the top left-hand corner where it says background color. I'll click there, and I'm going to go ahead and select black. For today's design, we're going to be doing a little bit of a cross niche for St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up. And some of the designs that I've seen in the past are like sugar skull leprechauns or like Mexican St. Patrick's Day or something like that. So again, cross niching is a good way to take two different niches that may not have anything in common <laughs> or may and put them together in a way that makes it a little bit unique um, and, and not something that is just um, your standard you know, shamrock or something that's gonna have a ton of competition. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with a sugar skull. So if we go to the left-hand corner of the page, we're gonna go up to the tab that says elements, click on that, and then from here we can go ahead and just do a search for sugar skull. And so you can search by graphics, you can search by photos. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use some graphics. Now there's a lot of really cool sugar skulls and you can use just about any one you want. So you can scroll down, find something that looks fun, Again, um, lots of different ways that we can play with this. I would go with something that has a little bit of color or I'm going to go with something that has a little bit of color to it. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do a little change of the colors here, but lots of different fun things that we can do. So go ahead, take your time, find one that you think really looks good. I kind of like, you know, that one looks kind of cool. And I'll keep scrolling until I find the one that I think really stands out for me. Don't always go with the top ones because again, a lot of people are doing these kinds of designs and most people are just gonna pick something off of the very top. And then a lot of people are gonna have the same graphics or the same style. So don't be afraid to scroll down. This, there really are thousands of designs and so you can scroll down quite a bit and find something that maybe isn't as used as something else, find something that's a little bit more original. So I'm just, that's just my caveat. You don't always have to pick something right at the top. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes you have to scroll to really find, you know, something good. And so take your time. Again, a lot of designs can be scaled out too. So if you spend a lot of time doing the original design, but then you're able to scale it out, it definitely makes it worthwhile. So just keep that in mind. I do kind of like this one. This one might end up being the one I go with, but I was looking the other night and there were some other fun ones that I saw that I liked. So I'm gonna see if I can find some of the other ones that I saw the other night. Sometimes too, if you click on an image, it'll pull up recommendations. If you follow those recommendations, sometimes you might find other ones that you like more or ones that you might've had to scroll a long way down to get to. You can maybe get to a little bit faster just by going through some of the recommendations. And so, like I said, lots of different fun designs here. There's another one here that looks like the exact same one. We're very similar and maybe not the exact same one, but look, I click on it, I get magic recommendations. I can click see all and see if there are any other recommendations that I like. I do kind of like this one here. I like the shape of the skull a little bit. I like how white the teeth are, I like the shape of the nose. So this one's got a lot more flourishes. I might go with this one. So this is the one I'm gonna pick. And I'm starting pretty small on the page because once I get everything the way I want it, I can then sort of group it all together. But go ahead and start small so you know you've got a lot of room to work around. If you make it too big, you're gonna run out of space around the edges. So whenever we're kind of creating a design that involves multiple elements, it's always easier to start small and then once you get it the way you want it, you can group it together and then you can enlarge it and re, you know, resize it and, and center it and put it wherever you want. Just make sure you got a lot of room around it to work with initially. So let's start with this. I wanna give it a St. Patrick's Day look. 
So first thing I want to do is see if there's anything I can do about the color to make it look a little bit more green or give it, you know, more of a, uh, you know, different feel. Obviously, I don't want to use the exact image as it is because, hey, other people might do that as well. I want mine to be original. I want mine to stand out. So let's go ahead and just go up to edit image and see what we can do. So one of the fun things that I like to do with some of these is use a color mix on it. So that's going to give it some different... Um, you know, different shades. So if I click color mix, you can see if I come down here, there's one called parakeet, and this is gonna give a little bit more of green and blues um, versus right now it's got some reds. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna click that and see what happens. So I like that it's giving it some greens, which is gonna look good for St. Patrick's Day. So you know what, I'm just gonna go with that. I'll give it a second to finalize and then I can still play with it some more. So if I want to here, I can still come up to edit image and now I can still adjust some of these other, um, these other adjustments here. So I can add some saturation if I really want it to look, you know, green. I can add some contrast if I really want the, the colors to pop off of the skull. So it's going to make the skull lighter. And so I like the way I did that. Again, I can play with the darkness to make it a little bit darker if I want to, or a little bit lighter if I want to. Um, so let's say I bring the darkness down just a little bit. I'm liking the way that that's looking. It's, you know, got some good color, got some good saturation. And so there. So I have gone ahead and changed the way it looks. So I'll pull up the original so that you can see. So this is what the original graphic looked like, and this is the graphic that I have now. So you can see they look, they look different. I mean, the colors are different, the contrast is different. It's giving it a different look. So that is just one way that you can sort of make one graphic your own. So I'm gonna be starting with this. And now what I'm looking for is, I'm gonna make this sort of like a, a leprechaun, so a sugar skull leprechaun. So I'm gonna look for a leprechaun hat. So I'm gonna go back up to my elements and do a search here for leprechaun hat. And again, I'm going to be going with graphics and there's a ton of different hats you can use. So play around again. Don't be afraid to scroll down. There's some at the top. There's some at the bottom. So there's all sorts of different ones. Some of these will allow you to change the color. So if you get one that allows you to change the color like this one, for example, I can go ahead and try to make the colors match a little bit more. So like my dark green, I can go ahead and pick one of the greens from my sugar skull here. I was gonna make that bright. So I can make this one here and I can use that color. I can take the belt here. I can, you know, if I wanted to make it really pop, I could put blue. I do like the idea of black though. I want the clip to be a little bit brighter because these all have some very bright, almost fluorescent-y colors. So let's go ahead and bring that down more into the yellows and see if I can get that into more of a bright yellow shade. Something like that looks cool. And so there's one way that I could do the hat. Again, that was just taking the hat right off the top. So you can scroll down again. There's lots of different hats. Some of them will have the little shamrocks. So this one, for example, does not allow me to change the colors. Now I could still do what I did here and go to edit image and go ahead and go to a color mix and see if I can color mix this to make it look any closer. And so you might have to play with a few different hats to sort of see what looks the best, what you can sort of try to match the colors on. Again, if it allows you to change the colors, then you can do a really quick match. If not, you might have to play around. This one's not really giving me a lot of other bright colors. Marmalade will make it a little bit lighter, but not too much lighter. So something like that, you know, might make a little bit of difference. Again, I can use some of the, um, the, the adjustments up here if I wanted to, to make it a little bit lighter or a little bit more saturated, you know, so I can come up with ways to make it a little bit closer in color. And so, for example, there's one, so I might go with this hat here. I've made it a little closer in color. Go ahead, put it on, make it look like it's fitting him. Again, it's a really big hat, so there you go. 
Um, so anyways, take your time, scroll down, lots of different hats, lots of different styles. You do want something that sort of looks like it matches. It shouldn't look like it's two totally different elements that don't go together. So you might have to take your time trying to find some sort of, you know, elements that look like they match each other. So whenever we're creating designs like this, you know, take your time, play with them, try to get the colors to match as much as you can, try to get the styles to match as much as you can. Um, again, don't rush. You do want a quality design, especially if it's a design that other people have done a lot of. You got to ask yourself, why would somebody buy yours over somebody else's? And so the answer better be that yours is either very different or it's a lot better. So those are your, those are your options. Make one that's totally different than everybody else's or make one that's better, but similar to everybody else's. But if it's just like everybody else's and it's not excellent, then nobody's gonna wanna buy yours over other ones that exist that are better. So again, taking your time, really trying to find something that looks like it matches. I mean, when I'm doing this, I'll really scroll and I'll, I'll spend a long time. I'm not gonna spend too much time today just because this is an example, so I'll just go ahead and go with this one, but you get the idea. Let's go ahead, add in a little beard. I'm gonna add in a beard because I want to put on a little leprechaun beard. Uh, you can do a beard with a mustache, but because I want to show as much of the sugar skull as I can, I don't really want a mustache. So I think I'm just going to go with the beard look. So I might just go with something simple like this. I do want to change the color, make it a little sort of reddish. And so what we're going to do is go with sort of a bright, again, leprechaun, reddish, orangish beard. And so I'm going to bring that down so it looks like it fits. I'm going to bring it up a little. Again, you want it to look like it fits. If you need to zoom into your page to see good, you know, go ahead, zoom in a little bit, use the arrows on your keyboard to get little micro adjustments to make sure that it looks like it fits well. I'm going to bring this up a little bit here over one, I might need to make it a tiny bit bigger because part of the skull is still showing on the sides. There we go. So something like that looks cool. I also wanna change his eyes a little bit. So I'm thinking about putting some shamrocks in his eyes. So let's go ahead and go with shamrock and see what comes up. And again, there's lots of cool shamrocks. Ideally, I'm looking for something that doesn't have a long stem because I want to put it in his eye and I don't want there to be a long stem in the design. So if I can find something that's a little bit more, oh, that's perfect right there. A little bit more has the shape, but doesn't necessarily have the stem is good. And this one's really cool. It does allow me to change the colors up here. So that's awesome. I can go ahead then and make these colors anything I want. And so I can use my eyedropper feature if I want to. Make sure I match the colors either on the hat or on the skull, make it look like it's nice and bright. So I like that. And then I'll do it one more time. Let's go with maybe something like that looks cool. Just depends. I want it to be a little bit brighter. So let's go a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit more yellowy than blue. Maybe something like that. Looks pretty cool. I can then shrink it down. I can change the angle. For this one, if I angle it so it's more of a cross, it's gonna cover up the pupils there pretty well. And I can zoom in to make sure that what I'm doing looks good. Again, get this placed exactly where I want it. And I can use the arrows on my keyboard too if I need to. And then once I have it the way I want it, I can just hit Control D, it will duplicate it. So I'll have another one exactly like that. And I can just go ahead and move it over to the other eye. So something like that looks cool. And then I can go ahead and zoom out. And so I already like the way this is looking. Maybe I make the hat a little bit smaller. I want it to still look like it's fitting on him, but I don't want it to be too huge. So I like that. Then let's go with maybe a leprechaun pipe, okay? Okay, so lots of different ways to go with a leprechaun pipe. Again, here's one right at the top I could use, and you can scroll down, see if there's anything else that you like. 
Um, so some of these, you know, have some different cool looks to them. You know, here's one. This one, again, allows me to change the color. And so that's, you know, convenient if I can change the colors. Um, this one allows me to change the colors and I like the shape a little bit better than this one. So let's say I take this one and instead of brown, I make it a nice, you know, bright green color. I can make it a little bit darker if I wanted to, a little bit lighter. I can select the colors here. Again, if I wanted to just go right off his hat, I can do that. I can make this part, you know, that nice yellow gold color. Um, I can make this area here. I can make it a nice black. Um, this area here, I can make that nice sort of neon green. And so I could do something like that if I wanted to. Um, I can put it anywhere I want. I can angle it so that it's, you know, maybe a little bit more oop, level with his mouth. I don't want it to stick out too far because I want the head to be centered. So if it sticks out too far, it'll be hard to center the head or to get the head big enough. So lots of different things I could do there. I can zoom in to make sure that I've got it where it looks like it's lined up with his mouth pretty good. So I want it to look like that's going kind of right into his teeth. So I like the way that looks. I could even go ahead and put a little shamrock on there if I wanted to. So I could go back to shamrock. Oops. And you can just add little flourishes here or there that might look cool. And so something really simple, maybe something like this one here looks nice and simple. I can make that that nice bright yellow color or sort of neon green, bring it down so it's nice and small and I can put it right there on his pipe, angle it, try to center it on his pipe. There we go, just so I give a little bit of a flourish to the pipe there. Um, and so those are all cool things you can do. Right now it's really zoomed in, so the quality doesn't look super great. That's okay, trust me, it'll print a lot better. But now what I can do is take this whole design, now that I have it sort of how I want it, and what we're gonna do is group it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and click anywhere outside of the design, it has to be outside of the design. So if I click way out here in the corner, Okay, so it's a left click. I'm gonna hold down and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it over everything. Once I have it dragged over everything, it sort of groups it all together. Now to make sure I don't lose it, I can come up in the top corner now, it'll say group. And if I click that, this is now all grouped together as just one graphic. And so that's how you can make sort of one graphic. And so now at this point, I can center it in the page. I can make it as big as I want within the page. And so stuff like that. And so if I wanted to sort of center the leprechaun in the page, I can do it that way. I can also use my rulers and guides on the side here to drag a center line. Oops, where's my center line? Right there. And then my center line, I want it to look like it's going right down the middle of the uh, skull. It is, so now I know the skull is perfectly centered. The design itself is not perfectly centered because the pipe is gonna stick out more. But as long as the skull is perfectly centered, that's what I'm looking for in terms of this design. And so there is a really cool design. I might go with a different hat because I do think that the hat maybe isn't as sharp in terms of quality as some of the other features. And so again, you might wanna play around for a while. Make sure that whatever elements you select really do look good. And so this was just one of the first hats that I saw. So I might redo the hat so that it's a little bit sharper. But other than that, you get the idea. And so this is a cool, unique style. It's different. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put Sugar Skull Leprechaun. Oops. There we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and download this right here, transparent background. And I'll click download and that is all there is to this design. You can make a lot of different versions because you can do a lot of different sugar skulls. You could also find ways to combine this with different holidays. You could make a sugar skull um, pilgrim. You could make a sugar skull Santa. You know, you could find a lot of different ways to obviously combine it. You can make a sugar skull um, Easter bunny. You could put some Easter ears on it. So lots of different fun, totally unique ways that you could do this. And that would just make yours stand out a little bit more over some other very common designs. 
If you have any questions about this technique um, or any of the techniques shown here, go ahead, drop them in the comments section below. I'll try to get back to it as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing well with your sales and I hope you guys are still coming up with some really fun, cool, creative designs. And I will see you again later. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.